G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have Gizmo. This cute little fella's from the movie Gremlins. It was a movie I loved when I was a kid and my mum used to have the toy of him. Start off by cutting your cakes in half, shaping them so it looks like a semicircle, but a little bit wider. Then pop two round sponge cakes, or any type of cake really, on top and shape it to the head. Now you can see I cut a little bit off the back, which will become the tummy. This helps give him the back of his head shape and everything. And you just keep shaving it off a little bit by little bit until you're happy with the shape of the head. When you start putting your sponges together and stacking, I only put a little bit of the frosting in, which just helps it glue together because you don't want them to slide and then topple. As you build him up, you can add on little bits of off cuts that help create a brow if you like. So just keep working with it until you're happy with the final result. You can see here I used the offcuts from the sponges to put his arms. Now I used a chocolate and vanilla frosting here to make it a light brown because I didn't want him too dark. And then piping that on to everywhere that his fur would be brown. You don't have to be too fussy, just make sure it's well coated. You don't want to miss any spots. And as you're piping, sort of push it onto the cake so it sticks well. I didn't manage to do this very well and when I started raking it over with the fork later on it was coming away from the cake so just be sure to pay attention when you're piping it on to make sure it really gets on there. Using your white go and fill him in where you need the white fur. Like I said don't spend too much time on it just make sure it's stuck on well. And I'd like to take this time to thank everyone once again for coming over to the Facebook page and sending us tweets. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Um, it's so much fun and I really, I get a buzz out of it and it, it's, it's great to hear what people think. It's a great way for you to share your photos and experiences with me. It really helps to have a picture of Gizmo here beside you if you can do that. I had it on my iPad stuck to the fridge so um, I just kept turning around looking at it. Now taking a fork and some warm water in a cup, dip your fork in it to heat it up and then just dab it and drag it along to make it look all furry and rough make sure you get the whole body and it helps to follow if you picture it on his body that there's hair and follow those lines it'll look a lot better now using some flesh colored fondant I created the shape of his mouth which also has a nose stuck onto it later and I saved some white to make some sort of fat lemon shapes and then I used gel food dye to paint on his eyes and the detail. Then I used some flesh colored fondant for his eyelids and I just squeezed it out enough so it was thin and then put it over the top till I was happy with how it looked on the inside of the eye. And then with a knife trimmed away the outside. It'll make it all look really neat but you don't need to worry about that because you're going to push it into the frosting and that will hide a lot of mistakes if you make any. I'd be more concerned about getting your eyes perfect than I would the eyelids. Then with the rest of the flesh colored fondant, I shaped out some feet, hands, and his ears. I did think these needed to be fairly detailed because they got right at the front of the cake. And with the ears, make sure you push the toothpicks in before it sets and you can give it a wash over. I used a copper gel dye here just to give it a shadowy low light, I guess you'd call it. Um, I just think it was really an effective way of making it look like it's curled when it's actually not. Once they're all set, you can pull, push them on and you have your mogwai. I absolutely love Gizmo, I hope you do too. Please feel free to share this video with your friends. I'd love to hear from you guys on Facebook or Twitter. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Please check out danosongs.com for your royalty free music.